Welcome to the early edition on the Reggae My Lightest. I'm your host, Cool T. The early edition brings you the latest news, the earliest. Reggae singer Ziggy Marley says he was denied access to a beach resort in St. Anne's recently. Speaking to Cabo Maad Karoon IRFM's Running African program, Ziggy Marley said he went with his family to rent a room at the resort but was denied access because he's Jamaican. And my family come, my wife come, you them come. I'm finding like a nice place for a villa, like a villa somewhere for me to yes. enjoy. You know, some beach life and what have you. Yes. Old food be a righteous son. You know, old shit. <laughs> um, a place named, what do you call it? Salt. What do you call it? Sea salt. I look a villa named Sea salt. Only for find out, say the man say, when he may say, we, I'm saying, nah, I'm in a place in a Jamaican. You understand? I may say, oh, yeah, what kind of place we are living in? Discrimination? Sir? Are you serious? I mean, what do you mean? I'm more than serious. If you don't run in a certain sectors of people, even with me, Ziggy Mall, I'm still, me still not rolling in a certain circles. My circle, I'm still in the roots. So, them still feel say, why? If them run Ziggy Mall, they please me some of the roots or something. We don't know what them are thinking. We have no. F- Meanwhile, Ziggy Marley spoke on the wider issue of Jamaicans being denied access to beach in recent times. He said every Jamaican has a right to the resources of their own country. The people, the Jamaican people of all classes, not just the rich class, the, poor, the poorest people in a Jamaica must be able to don't have to pay for go up on a beach go in, a, for the, for them, in a film country and swim and relax and enjoy a day. And then go back to where they must go back to. So Jamaicans are being discriminated against in their own country. Wow. You understand me? Wow. Yeah. By by a certain class. I don't know what it is. It's class But we are being discriminated against. Yes. And that, that we can't stand for that. We shouldn't. This is our country. Oh, we are discriminated against. We say we can't do this. We can't do that. Even though I can't pay you, you still are discriminated against me. For what? Come here, Jamaican. No nah, man, that can't work. That's Ziggy Marley speaking to Kabu Mahat Karu of IRFM. Jamaica has seen an increase in privatization of beaches across the country, resulting in Jamaicans being denied access to the crystal clear sand and blue waters. Access has been largely reserved for tourists who book in at hotels. Public beaches such as Reggae Beach, Blue Lagoon and Bob Marley Beach have been cut off from the public with the government handing them to private individuals. Tensia and her label Interscope Records have reached a settlement in a copyright infringement lawsuit filed against them in 2022. The lawsuit was filed by producer Anastas Pupa Nasty Hackett who claimed Shensia used samples of his soca songs in the single Lick without his permission. Lick was released in January 2022 and featured rapper Megan Thee Stallion. Lick was deemed to sample a 2002 remix of Denny's Belfont's single Work by the production duo Masters at Work. Now, the duo licensed the original song from Papa Nas T, who produced and co-wrote Work with Harness T in Trinidad and Tobago in 1999. Nas T owns both the original and Masters at Work remix. Now, after a year-long battle in the New York District Court, Shensia and Interscope have reached a settlement with Papa Nas T. However, the settlement amount was not disclosed due to a privacy agreement. But Regimalitis can reveal Papa Nas T sought over 10 million US dollars in damages, profits, and legal fees. Meanwhile, Shensia will not be able to consider herself blessed just yet as she will have to get her court suit ready as she addresses another lawsuit. In October last year, visual artist Stephanie Sarley accused Shensia and Interscope of using three of her artistic Instagram videos showing sexualized handlings of fruits. The three clips are said to appear in Shensia's foreplay music video. Finally, in the early edition for today, Egyptian has received another piece of silverware. His 2012 single, Wine Slow, has been certified silver in the United Kingdom after selling over 200,000 copies. But Wine Slow is not the first song for Egyptian to be certified in the UK. His 2010 super hit, Holio, certified platinum after reaching sales of 600,000 units. Now, Holio also certified gold in the USA for over 500,000 sales. 
Now that's it for this episode of Early Edition on Reggae Malitis. I'm your host Cool T. Remember to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell to get the videos as soon as them drop. Share and like this video. Until next time, I'm your host Cool T.